free out of ships as part of MPLAP Harmony. It's, it's a completely free operating system. It is um, one of the most popular operating systems actually on the planet as a, a sort of global user base. Um, what I am going to do now is first tell you a little bit about FreeRTOS so you can get a sort of warm feeling that despite it being a free product that you can just use with MPLAB Harmony, um, you don't need to tell anyone you're using it or obtain any license uh, permissions or anything. Um, but despite that, uh, give you the idea that it is a top quality commercial grade product. After uh, talking about that for a little bit, I will go through a few screenshots that show how the configurator uh, makes its use simpler for you. So about free artists, let's say a little about the organization. So our goal is to provide a free operating system that really surpasses the quality and the support that is provided by social alternatives. So FreeRTOS is professionally developed. It's strictly quality, very robust. There are safety critical versions. Um, and support is provided for it uh, like a commercial product. And um, it's maintained by an independent organization we partner very closely with Microchip. So our quality goes beyond the Mizra compliant source code which is not only developed to a rigorous coding standard, but also to a rigorous development standard. For example, um, as a point of principle, we do not allow any code that is not deterministic to be executed in an interrupt or a critical section. And we're particularly proud of the implementation of things like our software timer functionality, which doesn't use any CPU time unless a timer callback is actually executing and callbacks execute in the context of a task, not an interrupt, to make your life a lot easier. We also feel things like our event groups implementation and API is very user friendly. So both software timers and event groups, just to pick two of the primitives available, of course they're easy to implement, but they're hard to implement in a user friendly and deterministic fashion. So you can see that as we develop the code, we really take care to try and make sure that we do things right and provide you with a good system. Also, FreeRTOS is under constant development as we've recently introduced a few other uh, embedded components. And our latest RTOS feature is um, something which we call direct to task notifications, which provides a very fast and lightweight alternative to using other RTOS primitives, for example, in some situations, queues, semaphores, uh, event groups, where you can send um, notifications and values directly to tasks rather than through those intermediary objects. Of course, being proud of the implementation does nobody any good if the code is licensed or distributed in a way that makes people nervous of actually using it in a commercial application, or if it's hard for users to obtain support or if they don't feel like um, they may get support at the time they really need it. So a lot of these attributes are now, in my humble opinion, I am biased, of course, as one of the key architects uh, that makes the system very good, are in fact non-technical -tech attributes such as those. Um, and our support is provided by a public forum so you can view the response times and quality of the answers that people get and judge for yourself. And Microchip will support it through their forums as well. So in fact, our aim is to remove any possibility or any possible reason why someone might not want to use a free product in a commercial application, uh, which is why the distribution model is the way it is. Um, there's no risk of accidental IP infringement, which means, uh, we, we, which is a very common reason that people will have for not using free software. But despite all this, um, there are always cases where a company just mandates that somebody is accountable for all the software they use in their embedded system. So we have covered that angle too. And if you need indemnification or ticketed support, private support, you have the option of buying an OpenRTOS license. So OpenRTOS is exactly the same source code as FreeRTOS, but it is provided by partner companies, Microchip and Wittgenstein, under standard commercial license terms. You can buy it from the Microchip shop. So just to emphasize then, commercial licenses are low cost. So it's not like we're trying to 
entice you into a trap where just before releasing your code you find out you have to part with a large sum of money. It's purely optional to buy a commercial license and they are low cost, so it gives you complete peace of mind. So hopefully then uh, I've got across to you um, why FreeRTOS has become a sort of global phenomenon as it is. Um, now of course with any library when you first start using it, uh, be it an RTOS or anything else, there is inevitably some effort involved in building the code, that is including the correct source files, getting the include parts right, configuring the options correctly, and although we like to think that we've made this as easy as possible, every demo, um, sorry, every port comes with a pre-configured demo that will build just out of the box. Through the uh, Harmony and the Configurator scheme, um, Microchip have made this even easier for you by enabling you to use the Configurator to basically set up everything for you. 